right. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do exponentiation in an efficient way. This is very important for our RSA digital signatures. Uh, so let's think about it at how many times we have to multiply something when we compute, when we do exponentiation, okay? So let's consider example that we want to compute x to power 8, right, in traditional way. So we would do that this way, 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So how many times you have to multiply here? Well, we have 7 dots here, okay? So the idea is kind of like we don't want to multiply so many times in order to compute x to power 8. So we can do that with some some kind of faster. So let's think about it. We can compute x square, so x times x, and store x square. Then we can compute x to power 4, x square times x square. And then we can compute x to power 8, x to power 4, x to power 4. So this way we save a lot of computation. So here actually we do, do just three multiplications. Uh, so the idea is that uh, we want to reduce the number of multiplications as many times as, as much as possible. So great algorithm for that is what we call square and multiply algorithm. This algorithm uses this idea that I just uh, presented here. So. Uh, we have two steps there. So let's say that we want to compute uh, some kind of x to power h in finite ring, right? That's the only way how we do that in RSA. So we compute it in everything modulo n. So we don't really want to work with huge numbers. We are going to multiply only numbers that are smaller than n, right? Because at every step we want to have number modulo n. Okay, so to don't go with those big numbers and then compute everything at the end module line. Okay, uh, so what are the steps? First step is that uh, we want to represent H in a binary format. Once we have this, so let's say that H can be represented in some kind of <clears throat> bits. The most significant one, HT, HT minus one, and H H one, H zero. Okay, so we have binary representation of H. Um, so what is important for us, for us are important those bits those bits. We don't care about the most significant bit. Of course, it has to be one, right? Uh, now, once we have this, then we can do our algorithm. So we compute x to power h modulo n. So initially, we need some kind of another variable. So we use y for this one. And initially, this y is equal to x. And then for i equal T minus one, two, i equals zero. We are going to compute y is equal y square modulo n. And then we check if hi, this bit number hi is equal one, then we have to do one more computation in this iteration. So we compute y is equal x times y modulo n. So x is this original number, right, that we want to compute x to power h. Okay, so this is algorithm. Now how we can do that kind of by hand to understand it better. So first step, 
Well, I can show you like one way how we can convert decimal uh, number to binary number. It's really easy. You can also write the program for this. Uh, you can also use already uh, programs online, but please be careful with it because I've seen many websites with some converters that they actually don't work. Uh, okay. So first step, we do this binary representation. So let's say that we want to compute something. So let's say we want to compute 823 to power 10,000, everything modulo 1,000. Now I will show you an interesting thing. Okay, so I will stop sharing the whiteboard. And I will share my screen with you. Okay, so this is Windows calculator. Uh, okay, so what we have here, 823. I want to compute it to power 10,000. So we have one more zero. And so, well, uh, Windows calculator will not help you to compute it. Okay, uh, so just to show that it kind of makes sense, but we, you can compute it by hand. So Windows cannot do that, but you can do that by hand. Okay, so let's, let's go back to our example. Okay, so binary representation, 823 to power 10,000, uh, everything modulo 1,000. So this is our each. This is our N and this is our X. Okay, so 10,000, when we divide it by two, there is remainder zero and we have 5,000 by two, remainder zero and we have two and a half and then by two again, again zero, And uh, so we have 1,225, 150, 50 by 2, again 0 here, and here we have 625 by 2, there is 1 as reminder. And we have 312 by 2. Again, we have 0 here, 156, 156 uh, by 2, remainder 0. And we have 75, 78 by 2, 0 here. We have then 39, 2, 1 here. And then we have 39 when we divide it by 2. That gives us uh, 19 twice plus one and then by two again reminder zero when we divide 19 by two uh, we get nine okay with reminder one and then by two that gives us four reminder one two two zero and we have two zero and we have one two and formally one so you have to remember to finish with one at the end. If you miss this step, then you don't have the correct representation. Okay, so um, this number in decimal it will be converted to we read it from down to end. So this representation is actually one zero zero one 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 zero 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 one zero 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 in the binary representation. Okay, so uh, this is how you can convert uh, numbers from decimal format to binary format. We have this nice representation. Now we can actually compute our result. <clears throat> okay, so our age, I will just copy it here. Uh, it's Zero, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. 
band. So those bits that are important for us, those the most significant bit doesn't matter. Uh, we can do that in table. Okay, so uh, in table we will have HI, and here we will have zero, zero, one, 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 three zeros. Did it really leave much space here? Yeah. One, zero. Zero, zero, and zero. So here we do square. And for some iterations, so every column represents one iteration. In some iterations, we have to also multiply by x. We do that only if hi is one, so we don't do this operation in many of those columns, in fact. So we start here. So we compute 823 square. This is congruent to 3 to 9. Of course, everything is modular. So actually, here I'm computing 823 square modulo 1000. Okay, but they don't have much space in table. So remember, everything is modulo 1000. Now, in the next step, we have 329 square. This is congruent to 241. Then we have 241 square. This is congruent to 81. Here is 1, so we also have to multiply 81 times 823. Uh, this is congruent to 663. And then we have 663 square congruent to uh, 569, then 569 times 823. This is congruent to uh, 287. Now, I do not compute that fast. I have pre-computed all of those things, okay? Uh, so then we have 287 square. That gives us 369. 369 times 823, that gives us 200, sorry, 687, 687 squared, that gives us 69, 69. And then 600, sorry, 900, 969 square, that gives us uh, 961. And then we have 961 square, that gives us 521, 521 square. This is congruent to uh, 441. Here we do have to do multiplication times 823, so that gives us 943, and then we have 943 squared. This is congruent to 249, and 249 squared, this is congruent to 1, so here we have one square, of course, this is one, and the one square, of course, it's one. Okay, so you see, Windows couldn't compute it, but we can compute it. So 823 to power 10,000, everything modulo 1,000, <clears> that gives us one. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you in other videos.